Welcome back to Thunkable, and congratulations! You've made it to our last iOS tutorial for Hour of Code. There are some directions and a special message at the end of this video. Stay tuned! In this tutorial, you will be making an iOS translation app that will allow you to translate from English to Chinese. Let's call this app App 5, app 5 Translation Machine. Translation machine. Let's start by dropping two components into the phone. First, let's drop a button into the phone. That's, a, that's an easy one, because we like buttons. And uh, while we're at it, let's change the button's text. And we can do that in the button's properties section over here. Uh, so let's update the text. And let's change this to translate to Chinese. Translate to Chinese. Great. Uh, next, let's drop in a text input component, and uh, it's over here, text input, right over here. Great. And let's uh, change the properties of this component a little bit. Uh, let's set the height to relative size, that's over here, and let's type in 20%, I have to do the percent part, and uh, let's change the width over here to relative size, and then type in 80%. 80%. Terrific! Uh, so we've gone ahead and we've made this section a little bigger, uh, so it'll be easier to write. Uh, next, uh, what we want to do is add another component, and that's the translator component, and that's all the way at the bottom of it. Yeah. So go ahead and drop it into the invisible components section. And we will need to select a target language, and in this case we are going to pick Chinese, but if you want to have some fun with this app and you want to play around and pick other languages, you can definitely do that. And uh, the last step is adding a text-to-speech component. Text-to-speech, uh, that can be found over here. And uh, we're going to add that to the invisible components section. And we want to change the default language to Chinese. Great! It's time to block it out! Hey, Beaver, can you get me some cookies? I don't have cookies, I have blocks! This app will translate whatever you write into Chinese when you click a button. Uh, so let's start with a when button 1 click do block. Great. Uh, next, we want to call the translator. Uh, so we can go to the blocks for translator and pull out a translator1 call translate block. Go ahead and thunk that right in. Great! Uh, now, do you see this opening over here? Uh, well, this is asking you what text should be translated. And what text should be translated? Well, it really depends on whatever you type in the text input. Uh, so let's go to the block options for text input and pull out a block that says text input 1 get text. Uh, go ahead and thunk that into the opening over here. Uh, good thunk. Uh, next, we need to tell the text-to-speech component to speak the translated text. Uh, so go into the block options for text-to-speech and pull out a text-to-speech call speak block and thunk that in over here. And what text is it going to speak? It's just going to speak the translated result uh, from the translator block. So let's get this result block and we can use copy and paste. If you have Windows, uh, click Control plus C to copy and Control plus V to paste. And if you have a Mac, click Command plus C to copy and Command and V to paste. Great! Uh, now we have two and we can thunk one in. Hmm, that was an excellent thunk. Uh, so now you should be able to write anything you want to in the text input section in English, push a button and have it translated into Chinese. Let's see this app in real time. Congratulations! You're on your way to becoming an excellent app developer. Thank you for participating in the Hour of Code, TM, at thunkable.com. Please go to code.org slash API slash hour slash finish to receive your certificate of completion, which can also be shared online. 
To congratulate you on this achievement, we've created a short video for you from the Thunkable team. Great work, and thanks for thunking!